Hello, I'm David Azer, and this is 3 Minute Ad Age, your daily video news show. Piggybacking on the popularity of AMC's Mad Men show, an extensive new One Club exhibit highlights some of the powerful female executives of that male-dominated golden age of advertising. Now open at the Science, Industry, and Business facility of the New York Public Library on Madison Avenue, the show is called The Real Men and Women of Madison Avenue. The main difference in the series Mad Men is Peggy is shown as an aspiring copywriter. She's in the position of a secretary. Where at the key agency that we're featuring, Doyle Dane Burnback, Phyllis Robinson was the copy chief. She and 14 other people started the agency. She was the she hired the writers and art directors. She was the chief copywriter. Mary Wells Lawrence started her own agency in 1966. She was really a power player. And of course, Bernice Fitzgibbons was one of the main uh, writers in retail advertising in the 50s. A retrospective of 20th century ad images is nothing new. But the One Club has added a unique spin with a heavy focus on the individuals responsible for the iconic works. The key reason for this exhibition is to recognize the personalities. Just to reiterate the fact that these campaigns for Volkswagen, for Halfway Shirts, for Claro, for Polaroid, they didn't just appear, they were created by thinking people, creative people, and people who were doing creative work to move product in the marketplace. And this exhibition, as far as I know, is the only one that has really focused on the people rather than just the ads themselves. Noticeably absent from the exhibit are the whiskey tumblers and halos of cigarette smoke so prominent in the TV series. So what's the one club's take on how accurate the Mad Men characters are? The people in this exhibition, the real men and women of Madison Avenue, they were all creatives. Uh, and they, they worked hard, they worked into the night, they probably weren't as hard drinking and as partying uh, as the characters on television. They probably didn't use as much brill cream. The exhibit also features video interviews with some of the period's more important but lesser known figures like Phyllis Robinson. She was a member of the small group that launched the revolutionary Doyle Dane Burnback Agency in 1949. Bill Burnback, Ned Doyle, Bob Gage and I were all working at Gray Agency. We juggled the names. Burnback, Doyle, Dane. I said, Doyle, Dane, Burnback. It has a nice swing. Fourteen of us when we started, and it grew into this massive business. I do feel I was a groundbreaker. And that's it for this three-minute ad age. Thanks for being with us. I'm David Azer at Advertising Age in New York.